Global Vectra Helicorp Limited welcomes all passengers. The following briefing contains important safety information. Please pay close attention. Government of India regulations require all passengers to comply with the safety precautions. We shall be flying Bell 412 twin engine helicopter. Always approach the helicopter from the front sector and when the anti-collision lights are off. Do not approach the helicopter from the rear or tail section. Doing so can be fatal. The ground staff or heli deck crew shall guide you. They will load and unload all your baggage. Wear your life jacket and rebreather equipment before boarding the helicopter. Ensure that the red pull tabs of the life jacket are in front and tucked under the velcro. Use the step to board or alight from the helicopter. Only one person at a time. Do not step on the floats. No loose items like caps, newspapers, etc. should be carried when boarding or disembarking. Once seated, fasten your seat belts. This is a three-point harness and can be fastened by pulling the strap across your chest and pushing the clip into the buckle. Make sure that the belts are not turned or twisted. Make sure that the buckle is facing upward. In case of need, the air pocket can be easily opened in this manner. Demonstration of using your air pocket will follow later in this safety briefing. Always keep your seat belts fastened on board the helicopter. To release, simply lift the flap. Smoking is not permitted on board or in the vicinity of the aircraft. This helicopter is equipped with a first aid kit placed just ahead and below the first row of seats. Two portable fire extinguishers are available on board. One on the right side of the pilot seat and another behind co-pilot seat. Safety briefing cards are available on board. Please read them carefully. One passenger shall act as lead passenger who must wear this headset to enable communication between the crew and passengers. He may communicate with the crew by operating this switch. Passengers are also requested to monitor announcements and instructions from the air crew over the public address system. In case of an emergency landing, do the following. Tighten your seatbelt. Remove all loose articles on you, like air defenders, spectacles, etc. Bring both feet together and push them under your seat. Tightly grasp the base of your seat with your hands and push your body into the seat. When the helicopter touches down on water, the floats will inflate automatically. Stay calm and wait for the rotors to stop. Do not open the sliding doors, as this is likely to rupture the floats. Use emergency exits, which are the two windows, on left-hand side and similar to, on right-hand side. These can be pushed out, by applying pressure on the marked corners. Cabin doors or emergency exits, must normally be open only after landing. The helicopter is equipped with helicopter emergency exit lighting system consisting of light strips fitted around the emergency exits. In case of ditching, these lights will switch on and glow to help you identify the emergency exits quickly. After landing on water and on command from the captain, passenger sitting next to window will unbuckle the raft. Throw life rafts out through the windows. The lean yard attached to the raft must be pulled to activate inflation of raft. Exit one person at a time from either side. Do not operate life jacket inside the helicopter as you may get stuck and also block the passengers behind you. If you are unable to step directly to the raft and have to jump into the sea, inflate your life jacket once you are in water. Pull the red pulls to operate life jacket. 
inflate your life jacket by removing the velcro lining and pulling the two red tabs hardly and spontaneously in a downward direction. Release excess pressure by pushing the valve and the manual inflation tubes by using your fingers. If the jacket fails to inflate or inflates with little pressure, use oral inflation by manually blowing air into the tubes as shown. In case the outer lining of the jacket gives uncomfortable feeling, it can be easily removed as shown in this demonstration. Your life jacket is also equipped with a LED light that turns on automatically when in water. It helps rescue personnel to locate you easily. The rafts attached to this helicopter are provided with survival kits which contain important life-saving provisions and instruments which include emergency drinking water, first aid kit, sea sickness tablets, body warming bags, aerial flare kit, shark repellent. Pedals are also available for maneuvering the raft in case of need. Rebreather or air pocket is an added safety feature on this aircraft. In the unlikely event of the helicopter toppling after ditching, this air pocket would allow you to breathe underwater, thus increasing the time to escape from the helicopter. The air pocket consists of a simple bladder inside the cover. This bladder is connected to a flexible pipe, which has a mouthpiece, a nose clip and a red knob attached to its other end. There is a small cylinder with breathable air located inside the bladder. Wear your air pocket around your neck like this. Pass the white loose clip of the life jacket waist belt through the slot at the lower end of the air pocket and clip it shut. Ensure that white joins to white. Tighten all loose straps. Lock the crochet strap to the extension strap at the lower portion of the air pocket. Ensure black joins to black. If cautioned by the captain, or if ditching appears imminent, remove the cover of your air pocket. Check that the valve is pressed in. Place the mouthpiece between your teeth and the lips and wear your nose clip. Do not pop the red knob on, but continue to breathe air from the cabin. If after ditching, the helicopter is beginning to roll over, take a single deep breath and pop the red knob by squeezing between the knob and the mouthpiece with your thumb and index finger. Breathe out into the air pocket when you need to. The cylinder inside the bladder will activate automatically when submerged in water. This ensures that you have air to re-breathe even if you were unable to take a breath before immersion. Should the cylinder not get activated automatically, pull this manual red tag for activating the cylinder. When the helicopter has stopped rolling over, you are advised to release your harness and escape through the nearest emergency exit. Once your head is above water, remove the mouthpiece, nose clip, and resume normal breathing. Personal emergency locator transmitter or pelt is placed in your life jackets. Once activated each pelt emits a unique signal and aids the search and rescue agency to locate and identify the source or the survivor. When required to be used, remove your pelt from its pouch. Unfasten antenna and move it to an upright position like this. Open the keypad cover and press the top two blue buttons simultaneously for more than one second. The pelt will get activated which will be confirmed by the flashing green and red LEDs. To deactivate, key press the red off button for one second. Once deactivated, all flashing LEDs will go off, indicating that the pelt is no longer sending a distress signal. In case of ditching and having to get into a life raft, it would be prudent to utilize one pelt at a time to conserve battery of the rest and also to prevent cluttering the radio frequency. Please note that the pelt is for use only during situations of grave, imminent danger. After use, pelt can be secured by tying it to the life jacket in the manner as demonstrated. 
passengers are requested not to touch the pelt unless in distress. Deliberate misuse of the pelt will incur very severe penalty. In case of false alarm, please inform the air crew immediately. On arrival at the destination, please remain seated and do not remove your seat belts. Wait for instructions from the air crew or the ground or helidex staff. Once the rotor blades have stopped and the door opened by the ground or helidex staff, follow the instructions given by him. Disembark one person at a time. If you have any further queries, please clarify them with our crew before boarding the helicopter. This concludes our safety briefing. We request you to sit back, relax and enjoy the flight.